Tell us a little bit about the diagnosis that you treat for shoulder patients. I mean, the use of the Dynasplint in both operative and non-operative cases is extremely important for me, uh, particularly for patients with adhesive capsulitis. Those patients do extremely well with non-operative treatment, probably changing the amount of surgery I do from maybe one in five patients to one in 10 or one in 20 patients with the use of the Dynasplint. Uh, the time frame for them obtaining motion in the shoulder tends to improve tremendously compared to just physical therapy alone, uh, so I use this all the time. But that doesn't exclude the patient that's post-op from either a rotator cuff repair, an instability repair, uh, and these are patients that are notoriously uh, immobilized to a certain degree for sometimes months, depending on how big the repair was. And the tendency to get stiff is always there. Okay. Uh, and as a surgeon, we understand that's going to happen, but of course we can't leave it in a situation like that. So while the stiffness may occur to a certain extent, um, I'm very quick to get them moving uh, as fast as they can once the healing has occurred with something like a Dynasplint to improve their motion. And can you talk to us a little bit about um, what the importance of range of motion in the shoulder is and what you look at? Is it external? Is it internal? Is it flexion? What is that first motion that you're really trying to achieve? Yeah, most people lose external rotation. So that's the first thing I'll look for. But again, that's a generality and doesn't have to be uh, what people are lacking. Uh, external rotation is probably one of the most important ones. And if you want to reach into the back seat of your car, if you want to grab something from the front seat, um, these are things you couldn't do without the ability to turn your arm out to the side. Uh, so that's important right away. Certainly flexion of the arm or abduction, bringing your arm to the side, uh, you know, extremely important as well. 